Hi everyone! In this tutorial we are going to show you how to use your Ultraloof Action. It is the world's first 2x3 axis stabilizer. It combines solid loof with an action gimbal, which combines mechanical and electronic stabilization. First of all, you need to balance Ultraloof Action to achieve a perfect steady footage. To do so, please watch the previous tutorials for Solid Loof, Solid Loof Tutorial 1 Recommended Weight Setup or Solid Loof Tutorial 2 How to Find a New Weight Setup. Instead of mounting the adapter on Solid Loof, like mentioned in the tutorials, you need to mount the gimbal on top of the cheese plate. This is done using the quarter inch screw. The action gimbal and its function button needs to face the same direction as the nose of the cheese plate. Please keep in mind that the center of gravity of Ultraloof Action changes when you add batteries, memory card, LCD displays or have it switched on. Now that everything is balanced, power on the gimbal by pressing the function button for 2 seconds. Because you can set it to several different modes, it is important to find the right mode for what you are filming. For all further information about the different modes, please watch the tutorial for how to use Action Gimbal. We will also explain some of these later in this tutorial. After you have balanced your Ultraloof Action, I will show you how to use it. To hold Ultraloof Action correctly, place your bottom three fingers under the handle. Change the angle of your fingers and hand so that your index finger and thumb fit comfortable on the grip. Because of the weight of the whole system, we recommend to use the included hand strip. For more detailed information about how to attach the hand strip, please watch our tutorial 3 how to use solid loof. Now for some examples of different use cases. The panning mode. The panning tilting mode. The lock mode. Tilting the camera. The upside down mode. Unlike using solid loof, ultra loof action needs to be held gently at the grip with your thumb and index finger. This way you can also direct the steady cam to the desired direction. It is quite useful when filming a pan for example. The key is to find the right balance. You shouldn't touch the grip too slightly nor squash the grip too tightly. Only when need to jump while filming, we recommend to release your fingers as long as you are in the air. Once you have landed safely, please bring your index finger and thumb back to the position as mentioned before. As mentioned in the previous tutorial 3, how to use solid loof, it is very useful to get the loof feeling. That means to hold ultra loof action like this. To make sure you work with your whole arm to separate the ultraloof action from your body. This will maximize the possibility of capturing cinematic footage. In the beginning it might be helpful to focus on how you hold ultraloof action and the position of your hand and arm. 
Once you feel comfortable, you can now think about the direction or frame of the camera and the scenes you want to film. When walking or running while filming, try to make smooth movements to achieve as less up and down motion in your footage as possible. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial and enjoy filming with your Ultraloof action. If you have a question, come to our community forum to ask other users or simply share your experiences.